happy Monday. I just thought we should have this really, really quick chat before I start this week's weekly vlog. And obviously you guys will have noticed that I haven't done two weeks now of weekly vlogs, but that's just kind of because I've been having a little bit of a break, trying to like get my head together after doing so much work. And yeah, I just kind of need a break for everything. And my head really wasn't in it recently. I don't know why. Not in a bad way, just kind of was enjoying going home and having fun with my friends and all that sort of stuff. And as you can see, I'm actually at home now. You can tell by the background. So yeah, um, I just wanted to quickly mention that I've been away for a while and I've left a blog post link down below of why and things like that that explains it all in full. But yeah, so go over and check that out if you're wondering why I haven't really been doing anything here on my channel and blog recently. Next is, obviously it's Monday today and I just wanted to talk to you really really quickly it's before nine o'clock in the morning it's about quarter to nine I think um, and I'm already in dress and everything because basically my car's broken so I'm about to go and take my car to go get fixed it's something to do with the exhaust Simon's taking me and I'm absolutely dreading it because it's so loud but yeah so I'm gonna go take that and then after that is the exciting part I'm gonna come home and then me and my mum and my brother are gonna go pick up our new puppy so you guys can obviously come along with this. I did not want to miss vlogging this because I thought it would be like memories, like serious memories. So I thought you could come with us to pick the puppy up, pick the puppy up and then come on like a little journey for the next four days with us because I'm here until Thursday and I've got a really exciting event on Thursday as well. I obviously want to bring you to that. So I thought I would start vlogging properly again this week because I do love my weekly vlogging and I do want it to continue just obviously I want it to be for times that are going to be memorable for you and not just like I'm a night shift I had my tea I went for a walk it'd just be nice to like have things like this that I can show you um, and hopefully there'll be more like stuff like this coming up so that should be good maybe not like getting puppies every day but stuff <laughs> obsessed when you create something for her like this and she doesn't actually go under it. She's far too hot being out here. She's a little like panting all the time like this. She's too hot so I made this for her. This like umbrella blanket concoction. Dorm, dorm, dorm really. It's a hat like a little house. Which she did sit under originally but since I sat there she's now come out. Go on, sit down. Sit down. Go on, get and now she's just gonna chill like this. She's chewing that ball. She won't chew the umbrella. It's brand new. Okay, chew the pole. That's nice. <laughs> it's cute. Are you enjoying it out here in the sun? Oh, she's not really in the sun. So and then there's T Bear. There's T Bear. And pigs. Hello, pigs. Hey, boys. Hello. Hello, Missy. with a very very snoozy girl but she's kind of just been startled by my dog barking outside so I just decided to vlog now because my little brother is about to do something really stupid in the garden and I wanted evidence for if it fails that he'll never do it again and he'll regret it I told him not to do it but he won't listen to me so basically we've got a trampoline in the garden he's going to jump off our shed into the trampoline so we'll see how this goes 
copied what the models that worked in Germany fits in really well with the new tradition logic. You're an idiot. So it's just an extension to the system. I don't know how you're gonna do it. Of this car running, uh, don't break anything. Don't break any bones and don't break any equipment. You'll have to like jump over it. Be careful. Watch the dog as well. Tyke, come here. Come here. Morning guys. Today is Tuesday so wow I've actually managed to vlog two days in a row. What's this all about? I'm up and dressed and absolutely roasting so I've got a long sleeve top on and jeans right now but it's literally 9am and about 25 degrees outside. It's so hot. Stupidly, I didn't not look at the weather before I packed to come home and I've packed all wintry stuff apart from two dresses and me and Simon are going out for some food tomorrow so I really should check the weather tomorrow because sod's lot, if I save my nice dress for tomorrow, it's going to rain. I should check that before I get ready today. But I need to have a shower and do my makeup and stuff. I just had to take my little brother to school. So I've got no car right now so I had to walk in which is a bit annoying. Day two of puppy being in the house. My cat has finally ventured out of hiding basically. He's just decided to come and join me here on the sofa. Hello bird. So yeah, he's like, this is the furthest he's been to like actually be sociable since she's arrived. But now she's just noticed and she's up sniffing him. He'll get you, Missy. He'll get you. She's so cute though. But I think my family, apart from me, had a horrendous night's sleep with her because she was just crying all night, as you can imagine. I don't think the people who had her before really left her by herself. So to be left in a cage by herself, I think she just didn't really like it. Um, and ended up, my mum and like Gary and that, ended up having to be up with her in the middle of the night. And I don't think my dog was very happy about it because he's so grumpy, aren't you, Ty? But yeah, I'm going to show you what she looks like right now because she looks so cute. How cute is she? Betty! She doesn't actually know her name yet either. Do we? We don't know our name yet. Missy! Hey! Oh, she's decided to come for my camera now. My camera strap. What's the matter? And then this is Moose, but he doesn't really, he's not overly keen. She really wants to play with him, but he's just like, no, I'm not playing with you. Cam just lies on the ground all the time like this. And he's just like this all the time, chucking his ball at me. Aren't you? You're not a fan? And then he's just started to come out now. But I don't know how you could be frightened of her. Look at her. She's so cute. But yeah, this is this is the stitch right now. I'm about to... Right, yeah. I don't know if I've told you, but I am, like, I've been majorly feeling quite shitty about the way I look right now in terms of, like, my body and stuff. And it doesn't help the fact that I've had a takeaway pretty much every day for the last, like, four days since being home because I don't really get that opportunity when I'm in Sheffield because Simon can't eat things that have nuts in and Chineses, Indians, etc. have nuts in, so I can't eat them takeaways. So while I'm at home, I do genuinely do make the most of it, put it that way. But yeah, so Tyke, I'm trying to vlog and you interrupted me. So yeah, I've just made it making the most of that, which is really bad, but I'm going to stop now because I can't do it anymore. I, ow, you just dropped the ball on my toe. Stop it. I'm starting this cute nutrition sort of thing. And you guys might see if you follow Sarah Ashcroft, which I'm sure you all do, that she is actually doing it as well. And I'm doing the vanilla shake sub so meal replacement and the supplements such as CLA and the dandelion root I think it is so as you can see I've got my tablets here which are literally massive like that's the dandelion root and that's the CLA like I'm rubbish at taking paracetamol never mind these monster tablets and I'm gonna have a shake for my lunch and then something for my tea which oh, I don't know what I'm gonna have for my tea hopefully like a salad or something like or even just something with like carbs in it because otherwise I'm gonna be so hungry but the weather's like really lovely again today so I'm gonna try and get out in the garden as much as possible but I need to get my head back into this blogging vlogging youtubing malarkey because I don't want to let you guys down and I really miss it and this is like the opportunity to do it at the end of the day I'm gonna be on nights again at the weekend so I'm not gonna have a chance to do it then how cute is she it's a shame I look so minging isn't it she's literally the cutest thing in the world Mum's just took Tyke out for a walk and obviously she's not allowed to go because she's not had her injections yet. Have you? No. 
She's literally just the cutest thing. I don't know how I'm going to leave her on Thursday. It makes me sick. Hey guys, today is Wednesday. Um, I'm still at home at the moment. I'm actually heading back tomorrow morning, ready for an event that I'm supposed to be going to in Meadow Hall tomorrow where I'll be meeting Joey Essex and things like that. So you can come to that, which should be really fun. I've just taken some vlog photos with my mum of this Jones and Jones dress, which is like occasion wear. And it's got the most beautiful, like, you can obviously see that there, embellished design on it. And I've just finished doing these, so I'm going to get changed now into some normal clothes. And then I'm going to get myself ready and do some vlogging because at 1 o'clock I'm going for some ice cream with Simon, so you can come to that too. I'm so excited for it. I'm going to have another one of my cute milkshakes today as well. That's my lunch. I'm still doing this eating thing, and it's actually working. So let's just continue with that even though I'm just gonna have a treat a little bit of a treat today and have some ice cream and then I'm going out for pizza tonight with Simon's family but I'm only at home for like another day so I guess it's kind of all right I've still got my baby she's like constantly following me around she's like at my feet at the moment asleep in the middle of my floor I'll show you excuse that that's just a bit of that milkshake stuff Letty Letty boo she's just the cutest little thing ever I don't know how I'm gonna leave her tomorrow I think it's gonna be really sad I need to get changed and sort my hair out and yeah because I've got like these bits here don't know what's going on here <laughs> but yeah so that's what I'm doing today and I've edited a video finally back on track with my blogging and YouTubing again which makes me so happy and yeah so eating your fudge finger. Is it nice? Simon went for the Knickerbocker Glory with, what ice cream is it? Plain and Plain strawberry. Plain and strawberry and then cream, fresh strawberries, strawberry juice and cream on the top. Oh my God. And he got a fudge finger extra because he's huge. And then I got chocolate and Oreo cheese, Oreo cookie ice cream. Mm -hmm. Cream and with. Gonna be obese. Oh, <laughs> Mortified. Hi guys, so it's a little bit later on now. I'm actually just at Simon's house, I've just come over now. We're going out for pizza and settle with his parents and um, I'm just admiring the view because I always forget how amazing the view is at his house. I've currently, currently, currently got a curtain behind me because the selfies and all that, like right there. Um, so yeah, I'm just looking at the beautiful view which is what you just saw a second ago. I'm currently wearing this Topshop little number which is an old one from about a year ago. This Topshop cube necklace, 
rubbish nail varnish that I need to take this off, it's desperate. Um, I'm wearing Maybelline lipstick, I think, I'm that lipstick, I want to say. Can't remember the name of it, tag it below. Um, and I'm actually trying out my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade in top for the first time, and I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow brush as well. Oh my god, guys, my eyebrows have never looked so good. <laughs> I'm not even joking, I hate saying things like that, but I actually haven't. And I'm wearing Urban Decay, Gwen Stefani on my eyes, filled my hair with my Babyliss Wave one because it's the best. And yeah, I'm just admiring the view and having a Copperberg strawberry and lime. So I'm just enjoying my last night at home, really, before heading back to Sheffield tomorrow. Such a shame, but never mind. I actually wish there was somewhere in this town for us to go out and have drinks without it. I don't know, being too late. Oh, everywhere's only open on a weekend and it's so annoying. I'm in the mood tonight. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm currently doing at the moment. I'm going to walk over town soon. Worst Snapchat in the world. <laughs> that's the caption you should give it. Swim in. It's actually zoomed in on your head right now. Same bedtime. Night, night. No horses in there. Okay, guess we'll Betty. Oh hi. Hi. Kiss my puppy. Kiss my puppy. You're hanging off my leg right now. Thank you.
guys, so I'm now back from the Meta Hall event. I went tonight with some of my favourite bloggers and YouTubers, etc. So I went with Amy, Leanne, Shannon and Lucy and I have included them. They'll be in like little bits of footage from this like vlog and things. But as you guys see, we were invited to like the ladies night at Meta Hall, which was absolutely incredible. As you can see, we met Joey Essex, had a bit of a chat with him and um, got some photos taken. However, the photo that I got taken with him was absolutely horrendous. So, someone tapping upstairs in my house. The photograph I got taken with him was absolutely horrendous, so I will not be using that. Yeah, so I'm gonna quickly show you, I think, what I got. There's just some bits and pieces. And um, when I say some bits and pieces, I mean like seven bags. Now, I'm not gonna show you one of them because one of them's actually a present for my friend for her birthday. But yeah, you would not believe how much we got given and also like the opportunities and things like that. It was such a good evening. I'm just so excited to see what's in these bags now. Um, so yeah, I'll show you that now. Here we have them. Got a miniature House of Fraser bag. This was the Debenhams goodie bag. This was the House of Fraser goodie bag. We've got two, like we've got the blogger one and then the just general one. Um, the Meadow Hall one in general. And then I got three White Company bags. Now, if Zoe watches my YouTube channel, um, she might be able to guess now what or where I've got her present from. So yeah. I'm not going to show you exactly which one I got her. Signature candle toppers because nothing better than keeping your candle sort of not dusty and nice. And I got the most beautiful smelling candle. So it's the White Company's Seychelles candle in uh, bergamot, amber and vanilla. You guys know by now vanilla is like my favourite scent um, to burn especially. So I was so pleased to pick this one up and I obviously got uh, the topper as well so that the, the scent can stay in and it doesn't go all dusty. So, I mean, the White Company is never really somewhere I uh, particularly like branched into, but I really love that. And then obviously I got all these bits as well. So a very successful evening all in all and had such a fab time. So yeah. Afternoon guys, today is Thursday. Oh no, I lied. Today is Friday. I'm behind time right now. So I think it's because yesterday is such a blur. But yeah, as you, if you're wondering why I've got a full face of makeup and I'm on a night's night, it's because I've just actually filmed this look. It's a Charlotte Tilbury look and you will have seen it by the time you see this vlog, so there's no point me talking about it. But obviously the video will be linked below. It's like a try on and lots of different things of products that I got sent by the lovely John Lewis, which is amazing. So I absolutely love this makeup look. I'm going to have to take it off really soon though because I'm going to have to start getting ready for night shifts before too long. So I just thought I'd quickly speak to you now. I have had quite a productive morning. I've filmed my video. I've edited a video. I've edited a blog post and I'm going to finish editing that uh, video now and then I'm gonna crack on with another blog post and then start getting ready for night shifts and doing my uniforms and wash and all that sort of stuff, like adult stuff basically. I just thought I'd quickly um, update you now because I'm guessing over the next three days I probably won't speak to you very much because obviously I'm on night shifts and things like that. Um, but yeah, there's not really much else to say to be honest with you. I'm still doing my cute nutrition sort of diet and I don't think it's going too badly to be honest. I'm rocking my Calvins today because they're so comfortable. But yeah, um, I'm not feeling too bad about myself at the minute. I feel quite good. And I feel full as well. I've been drinking the um, vanilla milkshakes with like meal replacement with the soy milk. So that makes me feel less bloated and a little bit better rather than drinking like full fat milk because that's all we had at home the other day when I had it. And I did ask my mum to get me soy milk, which I've got. So I had to drink it with full fat, but to drinking it today with soy milk felt a little bit better. But I've been doing that every day and I've been taking the CLA and dandelion root as well. So I'm excited to see how it works. Um, I actually bought myself two new bikinis last night when I was at the Meadow Hall event from Primark. I got a swimming costume, which I never wear, so I'm really excited to sport that on holiday. It's, it's completely out of my comfort zone, like it's like one of the V-neck ones, and I know I am literally, I am nothing on my chest at all. But sometimes I think that they look all right when people rock them with nothing, if that makes sense. So we'll see how that goes anyway. And yeah, so I'm gonna head off and crack on with some more stuff now. My room is literally so hot. I keep having to open all the windows because our windows are like on latches so you can't even open them very far but it's roasting in here but the weather's like not very nice outside I think it's probably going to thunder in the next couple of days so yeah I'm going to crack on with some work now because I've got a lot to do before the next three days at work boo